Hey, San Jose Church, I just want you to know I love you. Uh, nobody loves San Jose Church, I don't think, more than me. I mean, obviously, Jesus Christ, because it's his church. But I just want you to know I love you. And I know many of you have been wanting to know uh, where are we at in the reopening process. So I just want to talk to you about a couple things. Number one, the reopening process is complex. Many of you, you know, you make it simple and, and, and just know that San Jose is a large church and there are people all over on this issue. Some think that we should have never closed, some think we shouldn't reopen at all. And then there's just the facets that go through this. San Jose is a large church. It's not as simple as it seems. So let me kind of talk to you through a couple of values so that you can pray with me as I pray about the reopening process. Number one, God, not governor. It's never been about what the governor has told us to do or not to do. It's about what God's calling us to do. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm praying every single day, God, give me a word. My wife just this week said, what are you hearing? What are you thinking? What are you feeling, right? She's asking me. And what I'm saying is I'm going before the Lord and I'm just humbly saying, God, when do you want us to reopen? Because we want this to be a movement of the spirit. And simply because we can do something doesn't mean we should do something. So it's God not governor. Next, it's safe sanctuaries. Look, we wanna make sure that you can come in an environment that's safe and we don't wanna get you sick. We want you to be able to worship. And the last thing I want you worrying about here is somebody coughing, somebody sneezing, somebody ki somebody's kids you know, running around because we all parent differently. Some of us are comfortable with our kids not moving at all. And some of us are comfortable with our kids doing whatever they want. And so we wanna figure that out. How do we create a safe environment where we're not, you know, putting some people out and we're making sure that everybody feels safe and, and everybody feels able to worship in a way that's free. Next, it's a witness. We want to witness well. So a, a lot of my talking has been focused on Sandals Church. We're a community, we're a family. We're one church and we're 11 campuses. But you need to know that each one of our campuses, we're a community within a community. And we have a witness to those people. And we need to remember, it's not just about our freedoms. And let me just say this, when it's all about us, it's not about God. So it needs to not only be about us, but the people that we minister to, the people that we're called to lead to Christ. And we want them to know that we don't carry, we don't care only about our worship at the expense of their health. We want them to know we care about both. And so we wanna make sure that we witness well within the communities that we exist in as one church in 11 locations, I believe in four different counties in California. Next, we wanna care for our congregation. So we're trying to figure out how to roll this out in a way where we can care and make sure that everybody's okay through this process and we wanna communicate well. So just be praying through those values. God, not governor, safe sanctuaries. We wanna witness well and we wanna care for our congregation. We want to be able to minister to you. So here's the plan and here's what we're gonna do. As of now, we're gonna open up all of our community groups. Obviously, that's up to you and your own personal level of safety, but we're going to be emailing out some rules that we think will help you to make sure that everybody's safe and everybody's on the same page. We're also going to be opening up our church campuses for many of the specialty groups that need a place to worship. One of my, my deep, deep concerns six weeks ago when I made the video was for our sex addiction groups for our people struggling with alcohol and drug addiction, for our people in divorce recovery, for our people battling anxiety and depression. We wanna make sure that the church is open to them first because they're our first concern. And many of you are in healthy families and healthy situations. And the reality is, you know, the video service, it might not be what you want, but it's been more than what you need. So let's just thank God for that process and let's open up for them first because we wanna care about many of the people who are really struggling amongst us. So we're gonna send that out to you. So for now, many of you have been emailing me way too many direct messages. I love you, it's too many. So here's what I wanna say. For now, there is no, there's not gonna be any opening of our weekend services. So if you show up, nobody's gonna be here. And so what we're doing is we're gathering together as a team to figure out how to launch this. And we're gonna do it as soon as we can in the best way that we can. So I just wanna encourage you not to be critical, not to argue with each other, but to be prayerfully supportive as we consider how best to reopen our church. And uh, you know, I don't want us to throw you know, mud at the governor, but I want us to send up our prayers to God and say, God, what do you want us to do? How can we do this? So I'll let you know as soon as we can how and when we're gonna open and we're gonna, we're gonna relaunch you know, the opening of our sanctuaries to as many people as possible. So I just wanna close by saying thank you. 
I love you. Please stay positive. Please stay prayerful. And please stay together. It's really easy to get divided on such a, a political tense issue where opinions are all over the place. And uh, let's not accuse each other of motives or anything like that. So I love you so much. Thank you for listening. And I will be letting you know sooner. I, I, I really believe it's going to be soon that we're going to be opening up our campuses. So until then, join us on the weekends. Watch the services. And again, I'm so thankful for everybody that's remained so faithful through this process. So I love you. Can't wait to worship with you soon.